Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see on the one day time frame, we are still just in this large consolidation phase for Bitcoin, where we are simply ranging in between this big level of resistance and this big level of support, with the resistance being from 71 all the way up to 73.5 thousand US dollars, and the support being from about 62.4 K all the way down to $60,000. So now zooming in on the short term four hour time frame for Bitcoin, you can see that recently we had this rising wedge pattern, which did break out to the downside. So I shorted this move to the downside and got a nice 40% gain. This is roughly where I took my profits. However, my original price target for this rising wedge pattern is roughly 62,000 US dollars in the price of Bitcoin. So as of right now, we are simply breaking to the downside. But if we take a look at the RSI momentum indicator, you can see that we are getting very close to being in oversold territory which is whenever the RSI reaches a level below 30. And usually when the RSI reaches oversold territory, this means that there is limited room to the downside for the price of Bitcoin. So typically what you'll see is you dip into oversold territories and then slowly you will see the RSI trend back to around this 50 level. And the way it does that is simply by the price trading sideways. So having some neutral price action or actually getting some bullish price action. And in that case, you would see the RSI trend up faster and sometimes even go above that 50 level because whenever the RSI is at 50, it means that the price action is neutral, so we are not in an uptrend and also not in a downtrend. Next, taking a look at this massive symmetrical triangle pattern that we have been taking a look at over the last couple of weeks. And before it even broke to the downside, I told you guys that as soon as it breaks out, the confirmed price target would be roughly $58,000. And as you can see right here, we already got pretty close to reaching that price target multiple times. And once we actually started trading to the upside, we broke through this level of resistance and then almost invalidated this pattern. However, we did not get a four hour candle close above the point of the breakout at about 67,000 US dollars. So therefore it means that this pattern and this price target is currently still active. So as of right now, we cannot rule out the possibility of actually reaching that 58K price target that I have been talking about over the past couple of weeks. And I will continue to repeat this until we actually go above the point of the breakout, because at that point, this pattern will have been invalidated. And at that point, and only that point, I will be saying that we can cross off this price target. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame. As you can see in the short term, we are very close to taking out this liquidity at about 62.2K. And by taking out this liquidity to the downside, a lot of short term traders that are currently longing the Bitcoin price will lose their money on their trade because they got liquidated. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So in this case, 62.2K. However, zooming out a little bit to the one week time frame, we can see that most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside with most of the liquidity being at 67.3K. So in the short term, what you can expect is potentially us moving a little bit to the downside in order to take out this liquidity right here. However, like I said, on the one week time frame, most of the liquidity is to the upside. So even though we have these active price targets that are currently saying that we will move to the downside in the short term, I do think that at some point we will move back to the upside in order to take out this level of liquidity. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables, we just got in the new data from yesterday. And as you can see right here, we had a net outflow of about $83 million with most of the selling pressure actually coming from the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF, which sold about $82 million worth of Bitcoin on Friday. And besides that, taking a look at all of these other ETFs, you can see that we got very, very small inflows with only the ARK ETF actually being a net buyer and all of these other ETFs either being new or being net sellers on Friday. So over the last three days, we actually had decently sized outflows from these ETFs, which did put a lot of downward pressure on the Bitcoin price. Currently, it is a weekend though, so they are not trading today on Saturday and tomorrow. So potentially we might get a little bit of relief and time for the market to just stabilize and trade sideways. 
So on Tuesday, I will check back in on this. If you do want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, then make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. First of all, I always like looking at the Fibonacci levels because typically they act as big levels of resistance or big levels as support. So as you can see right here, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, quickly traded to the downside and then lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level, but then actually found some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So after getting a little bit of a bounce for Ethereum, we are now just chopping around sideways. So now let's take a look at the short-term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So you know what the key price levels are that you need to look out for in the short term. First of all, right now we are actually trading in one of the levels of resistance, which is sitting from about $3,150 all the way up to $3,250. And in the case that we do break through that level of resistance, then the next level of resistance above that is actually the 0.618 Fibonacci level at 3330. However, if we do get a rejection from that level of resistance, then the next level of support is first of all, this small level of support right here at about $3,100. However, the next level of support below that is from about $3,000 all the way down to $2,850. Now, one interesting piece of news for Ethereum that I talked about over the last couple of videos, but I do want to show it in case you're new here. On April 30th, the Ethereum ETFs will actually start trading. And this is very significant because the same happened for Bitcoin. And after first getting a 15% correction to the downside, after that, the rest is history because the price went up like 80%. So is something similar going to happen to Ethereum because of these Hong Kong Ethereum ETFs? Well, that's what we're going to track over the next couple of days and weeks, starting from April 30th. Now taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame. Just like Ethereum, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded to the downside and lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And after reclaiming the 0.5 Fibonacci level, we traded to the upside a little bit. However, right now we are trading back to the downside and are on the very edge of this level of support at the 0.5 Fib level. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Solana to have a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term. So after first following this ascending trend line to the upside, and it was tracking it very nicely, I told you before this even happened that if we saw us lose this trend line support, that likely we will see some bearish price action in the short term. And that is exactly what we saw over the last couple of days here. Actually, one thing I forgot to do before getting into this chart is actually flipping this into resistance. So first of all, when we were above this level, it was a level of support. However, we then traded below it. So now it is acting as a level of resistance. And this level of resistance is sitting from about $140 all the way up to $150 for the price of Solana. And in fact, the next level of support below the current price is sitting from about $134 all the way down to $125. Though one thing we must keep in mind in between those two levels is actually this trend line right here, an active trend line for quite a while, as you can see right here. So in the short term, you can see we actually traded below it. However, right now in the short term, we got a bit of a bounce from that level of support and are now trading back above the trend line. So if you are holding Solana, that is actually a very good thing to see. And like I said, the next level of resistance to break here is this level from 140 up to $150. And just in case you haven't seen it yet, if you want to join my Discord server, you can do it with the first link in the description. It is completely free to join and you can leave at any time. This has been today's update video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.